Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be on uh, signals and uh, it's not like uh, dealing with SDR. I have not connected my SDR to it or anything like that. It's just to show you uh, when you're playing around with your SDR and you're working with your USRPs or HEC RFs and things like that and when you're trying to look at different signals, how do you identify those signals? There's got to be some type of a library that is out there uh, where you can check your signals and you can see, okay, this looks something like this. I hope, um, so I believe this signal is this. So there's a wiki page online, which is called sigidwiki.com, which is this page, where you can go ahead and look at the signals from very uh, VLF to all the way up to UHF, from very low frequency all the way up to ultra high frequencies. They categorize the signal with respect to radars, military, uh, amateur radio, commercial, digital, analog, and things like that. And they made a repository of all the signals with their waterfall graphs, with their sample, how do they sound like, and things like that. Uh, they have about a library of about 515 different signals online. Some of them are identified, some of them are unidentified. Identified signal is somewhere approximately around 500, 515 signals. Just to give you an idea how this website works is that you will see the list of signals and you will see what is the modulation, what frequency was there. You will see a waterfall graph for those signals. You will see a sample of those signals as well. So we're going to quickly look at that. Then I'm going to introduce another software that you can use to identify signals. So for example, uh, let's look at this signal uh, that you're seeing right now. So this signal is somewhere a OTH radar and the country is like China or you can look at this radar, OTH radar, this is Iran. Uh, uh, so just simply you will see in audio, you will look at the waterfall image as well. So just simply play, the, I'm going to play the audio for you. This is how the audio sounds for that particular radar and this is how the waterfall image looks like. So basically it's like a repository of all the signals, known signals and based on that you can see. Uh, you will see a key fob signal, you will see a sound of a 1G mobile signal that was using FM. So I'm just going to simply play this and show you. This is how a 1G signal sound like. And this is how the waterfall graphs look like. So it's, it's a very cool repository. Let me just stop this. So it's a very cool repository of all the signals that they have collected or people have collected and, and made a repository on it. But um, this is all online. So so you can go to a website called aresvalley.com and there's a tool called Artemis. You can just simply go ahead and download this tool. This tool is available for your Windows, Linux, Mac, and Raspberry Pi. I'm going to show you how you're going to install it in your Linux machine. I have already downloaded this tool. So it's right here. I'm going to go to my download folder and we're going to unzip this folder first. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to right click on it. I'm sorry. Let me just close this. I don't want to. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to extract this over here. While this is extracting, I have also opened up a wiki page for this because when you're compiling this, you need a tool, you need some extra repository. So just simply type in Artemis Signal Identification GitHub. You will see a GitHub page here. Uh, just go to your GitHub page and the only thing that you need, so just click on this, sorry, you have to go and click on complete documentation. Once you go to this documentation page, and uh, let's and just go to getting started and installation go to installation once you go to installation there's a command that you need to type it actually it's it's like a, a dependency that you need so hold on a second all right so you can do it for windows for linux this is the dependency that you need. So I'm just going to simply copy this and I'm going to open up my terminal. 
So you just can simply copy this. All right. So the first thing I want to do, so I'm going to go to my download folder. I'm going to CD into it and I'm going to look for that particular uh, file that the thing that I've downloaded. So I'm just going to go to downloads and I CD downloads. All right. And I want to let, let's look at it. I think it's inside of this folder. So CD Artemis. Once you are inside, you're fine. I'm just going to simply copy my clipboard now. So right click on it, copy that repository that you have found on your web on the website. So this thing is already downloaded now. I'm just going to simply go to LS. There's a folder that you want to actually change the permission to. Uh, that folder is called app.bin. So app.bin, I want to change this permission. So in order for you to change this permission, go to sudo, write sudo, chmod 700, or you can type a plus x, whatever you want, and app.bin. So once you have changed that uh, permission of this folder, now this folder will, now this would turn into green green so let me ls this and show you so now this is all green so you can execute this file so now just simply in order for you to run this simply a pvr forward slash uh, dot bin all right here we go So once for, when you open this file, it will tell you that, okay, no signal database detected. Just simply click yes. It will download all that for you. It will take like a couple of minutes. All right, so once everything has been downloaded, uh, all the signal folder, everything that is downloaded, you will see exactly the same thing what you're seeing on the website now. But here you, will, you can play around with it. You can do a search. Like for example, let's do a search of 4G. How does an LTE signal would look like? So this is how an LTE signal would look like. And frequency bands, different frequency has different allocation in terms of their frequencies and things like that. You can look for a particular signal. You can play it. So let's try to play this. How does an LTE signal sound like? This is how an LTE signal sounds like. This is what it looks like in terms of your waterfall graph and the sky is the limit. You can look at the frequencies, um, what are the frequency of operation, what is the modulation scheme, it's using PSK, QAM worldwide. You can look at different aircraft communication addressing scheme. It uses something called MSK and you can also play this. And so on. Uh, so this is a very beautiful way. For example, if you're playing around with your software defined radios and you want to look at different type of a signal, uh, you can actually identify using something like this. Um, and, and you can use a filter there. You can, you can, you can look at uh, space weather. You can look at the reports. If you want to add some signals, you can also add some signals. So it's a very handy tool. Uh, there are different type of filters which are available. So, for example, if you're looking in terms of a particular modulation schemes, you can look a look at. Or if you're looking at somewhere, let's say I want to look at something from United States only, I can apply that filter as well. And then I can also just look at the signals from that particular location and things like that. So I can go here, and these are all the signals which are related to this so 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 for example this is a uhf mr fmrs band uh, i can play the sound of this and i can look at this signal and things like that so i hope you like the small tutorial on uh, on this uh, if you have any questions leave it in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel